Hello, Katia, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Welcome. How are you? Hi, thank you, teacher. How was your day today? A little worried uh, because my nephew that I was taking oh. care of yesterday mm -hmm. yes. was very bad in the night, all night. Uh, all my family can uh, sleep, and today he is in the hospital. Oh no, what's wrong and with him? It is ha a, he has a stomach and fever. Uh, we don't know what. Uh, what is, I don't know, we don't know. The doctors are, um, are haciendo el examen. <laughs> He's doing uh, the, um, yes. they're doing tests on him. Yes. But the blow exam, it's bad. Oh no, what, what could it be? Do, do you have any idea? Um, I don't know. I don't have idea. Only say that white globules are too much. I don't know. Oh no. I hope everything is better. Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay. Milton, how are you? Fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you today? Um, it's, uh, it was interesting, my days, because I, I was um, uh, I was in training, training, capacitation, training is good. I was in a in a training, yes. Yes, in a training, the topic about the customer service. Okay, was the training yeah. online? Yes, 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 online. Oh, okay. so all all afternoon is it was is uh, interesting, very very interesting. Oh yeah, I imagine. What about you, Mr. Jacko? How are you? Good evening, teacher and class. I'm fine in you. I am okay, thank you. Everything good today. Thanks, teacher. Um, okay, about my, my day. Mm. Oh, this day is... Uh, I I I had two meeting with different customer uh, and in, in my in my time of of working in plan is reduced no we what's reduced <laughs> and on on the on the on the uh, and day off no the final del día final at the end of the day at the um and and the ending the, oh, no, at the end of the day at the end of the day um i am uh uh atrasado como se diría atrasado we're back <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're back about nice. other things. It's terrible what's happening in, in, in Miami, right? In Florida, in the United States. Yeah, the, the hurricane. Hurricane. And, and, and I, I don't remember the name. Irene, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the name. 
Y sí, es, 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 uh, es en Florida. Man. Es en Florida. Yeah. Es Hurricane Ia. Ian. Ia. Ia. Hurricane Ia. Yes. I want to see if it's true. I want to check right now. Let me check one thing. They're saying that they saw they saw sharks swimming in. Wow. Um, I I want a um I I want a question. Uh, if you if you if you believe it possible the the rain yesterday and, and today. Uh, is calls for Hurricane Ian uh, on here? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. What what I read, or I, I don't know if I read it or I saw it one day in YouTube, but they say that why do all the hurricanes hit Miami or 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 the um, Caribbean? And the reason is because the Sahara Sahara Desert yes. is is so hot. It's so hot that the heat moves. So I it's something like Miami and Sahara are are straight. Yes. So when all the heat, calor, all the heat from the Sahara moves to the ocean, the hot and the cold mix it starts making a um a hurricane and that's why that's why it always hits miami florida yeah that's sad um but C cuba is not taken for the hurricane year no that's what i was that's what i was thinking but no cuba is okay okay only in the Florida, Miami. And I think it's moving up. Ah, okay. Do you watch Netflix? Netflix? No. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have Netflix. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you, class? Are you watching that documentary about Jeffrey Dahmer? Okay, so let's start. Uh, let me share my screen. Hello. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. So yesterday, yes. yesterday we were doing this. Remember the if clauses and result clauses, conditionals? For example, remember, if I hadn't met my wife, I would have married, I would have married Scarlett Johansson. But my wife was the lucky one. Okay, let's do knowledge check. We have 10 possibilities here, 10 examples. Milton, can you do number one, please? It says instructions, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in parentheses. Just the verb in its correct form, no capital letter or period is needed. So, what is number one? If blank be more adventurous when I was younger. If I, I have been. Listen, when I was younger. I... 
one more. Okay, maybe. no, but it's okay if I had been. Let's try that. You know, yeah, that's correct too. It makes sense. Okay, number two, I blank not have any regrets about the things I missed. JJ? Um, I think that in this case, I wouldn't have any regret about the thing I missed. Wouldn't have. Okay, good. Sarah, number three, please. Okay. The airline lost my luggage. If I if I bring in a change of clothes in my carry-on bag. The airline lost my luggage. If I let me see what is the correct one. Okay, so number one, it says, if blank more adventurous when I was younger, if I had been. Number two, if blank not have any regrets about the things I missed. Okay, so this is correct because I think it's a continuation for part one. Number three, mm -hmm. the airline lost my luggage if I had bought a change of clothes in my carry-on bag, if I had brought. I don't like this example. It would be more correct to say, the airline lost my luggage. If only I had brought, if only I had brought change of clothes. Number four, I blank for new clothes now. I wouldn't be shopping for, okay, yeah, this. Okay, now I understand, I'm sorry, three. This doesn't explain. So they Yes, so number one and two is one complete sentence. Three and four is the other one. Now it makes sense. The airline lost my luggage if I had bought a change of clothes in my carry-on bag, I wouldn't be shopping. Now it makes sense. This flight is so long, if I hadn't, brought, I'm sorry, if I hadn't bought an economy class ticket, I would be more comfortable now. Have you ever gone to San Miguel by bus? Why, teacher? What, uh, what? Have you ever gone to San Miguel by bus? No, for me only my car. Okay. There are, there are three types of buses to go to San Miguel. One is the chicken bus. One is the special bus. And the next is the super special bus. I don't know now, I don't know now, but I remember before the normal bus, it was $5. The special bus, it was like six fifty, dollars And the super special bus, I think it was like eight or $9. The difference was, the difference is that the normal bus stopped every time, stopped everywhere. That was every cool. Yeah, man, it was. So you, you were in San Miguel in four hours. The normal bus, the special bus, it was one way. It didn't stop. But no air conditioning. 
And then there's the super special. That was cool because you are like in a very nice bus with air conditioning and watching movies. So this example is something similar to the buses. This flight is so long, it's a long flight. If I hadn't bought an economy class, I would be more comfortable now. So this person bought an economy, the difference between economy class and the other class is what? Okay, we're not going to speak today then. Okay, number seven. If you blank learn to speak more Mandarin before moving to Taipei. If you have learned to speak Mandarin before moving to Taipei, eight, you would be able to ask someone for directions now. If Martha blank not become a flight attendant, if Martha hadn't become a flight attendant, she probably wouldn't travel as much as she does. Let's, let's do the listening exercise. Can you hear? Yes. Cindy. Okay. You'll probably be surprised to hear what I did. I was on a business trip. The flight was a long one, and when I arrived at my destination, I was eager to get my bags and get to my hotel to relax. Well, you know, they always tell you to be careful to get the right bag, but I was in a hurry. You can guess what happened. My black suitcase looked just like every other one, so I picked up someone else's. I didn't realize my mistake until I got to the hotel. Well, I immediately called the airport, and fortunately, it all worked out. I had to go back to the airport, though, to pick up my suitcase and return the other one. And of course, I also had to apologize. If only I'd checked the name tag more carefully. It's funny. This sort of thing almost never happens to me when I travel. Two, Scott. This is kind of a funny story. I was in Panama City and had a layover between flights. I'd arrived at about 6 p.m., and my flight out wasn't until about 8.30. Well, my flight was delayed. And delayed. It got really crowded at the departure gate. I was getting tired, and there were so many people around. I hate crowds. So I went to sit away from the departure gate to escape the crowds. I was reading my newspaper and feeling drowsy. I wish I'd slept on the flight to Panama. Anyway, the next thing I know, I wake up, and there's no one around. The crowd is gone. I'd fallen asleep and missed my flight. They must have made lots of announcements, and I missed them all. Boy, did I feel stupid. I had to stay in Panama City overnight and catch a flight out the next morning. So number one, Cindy has a unique, easy to see name tag on her luggage. Probably false. Probably false. Probably false, okay. Cindy travels frequently. Probably, probably, probably false. Yeah. Probably true or false? True. Probably false. Okay. It's probably true. No, no, the second is probably true. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Scott likes peace and quiet when he travels. Probably true. Sure is probably true. Probably true. true. Okay. Scott slept soundly all the way to Panama City. Probably false. Probably false. All right, we got them correct. 
So it says, in this class, participants will learn vocabulary to talk about travel. So traveling vocabulary. <clears throat> so let's hear this video. I don't listen. Yeah, me too. I can't hear. Hold on. Compound adjectives together. Ready? Look at the following chart. Remember, some adverbs can be combined with adjectives to make compound adjectives. Culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non conforming, non judgmental, open hearted, open minded. Self-assured, self-motivated, self-reliant, self-starter. Self-what? This is about travel. Using the words we just came up with. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel. Self-reliant, self-starter. Self-starter, self-center. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel using the words we just came up with. Follow my example. Self-reliant, self-starter. Okay. Miguel. Hi, teacher. Hi. What is that sound in your house? Is that a TV? Uh, yes, the TV. My daughter and my wife. But you said you don't have a TV. It's finished uh, one year because my wife is psychology clinic clinic, clinic psychology okay is very stressed in this moment i i think in buoy buoy uh, tv for watch a uh, documental uh, is how do you say selva is in the jungle Uncle, yes. Okay, I don't understand. Your relaxed. wife, your wife is a psychologist. Yes. She's a doctor. Clinic. Psycholog clinic. Okay, listen to my question. Your okay. wife is a patient or she is a doctor in psychology? No, it's psychology. Uh, how do you say clinic? Is because it's specialist in in case clinic um not not this doctor is okay not this doctor she's a specialist specialist okay Psych good psychology clinic is, okay is, okay okay is a so so you have a tv see it's in this in this year i buy the tv for my house because it's but, but you life. told us last week that you 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 don't have a tv for, no, for TV. it's important for communication is the problem in 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 start the relation with uh you say casado um, married married yes is in the in the time is uh, next time is uh, oh, okay, election. Miguel. But listen, let, let's let's okay. let, no, I'm sorry, something basic, okay. yes or no, class. I remember you said that you okay. don't have a TV in your house, and remember, everybody was, yes, really no TV, and you said, no, no TV, no tablets, nothing. <laughs> but now you're okay. saying that you have a TV for one year. One year, yes, it's 40 years. I not TV. Okay. Do you have cable? Sorry? 
do you have cable and internet yes yes it's it's uh, i have is uh, disney uh, hbo okay. is uh netflix um what do you say is um my uh, sister-in-law is mm -hmm. connecting this channel more channel is okay i have okay okay good thank you okay yeah i was just wondering okay okay what is something that um court culturally aware what does that mean what does that expression mean It's like oh. a costume. No. Maybe. But what is aware? Do you understand that expression, aware? Mm, no. I don't really exactly what that means. Aware is like saying al tanto. Consciente. Con yes, thank you. Al tanto, consciente, like I am aware. I don't understand the expression culturally yes. aware. Okay. Yes. Do you know do you know um Castro Street in San Francisco? No. You never you never heard of Castro Street in San Francisco? Me no. No. Nobody? No, I didn't know that it was a sister. <laughs> it's very Sorry. famous. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's very famous because only gay people live there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I yeah, thought I mean, that was something about I don't know. Castro. <laughs> no, no, it is it's... I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Have you ha have you heard about that San Francisco only gay people live there? No. It, 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 Yes, yeah, why, why Castro? Why Castro Street? Okay. Oh yeah, I can explain that to you. But what what I'm saying is that um, San Francisco is famous for that because there's a but but many people are not culturally aware. It's not that gay people live in San Francisco. Gay people live everywhere. But there's a Castro Street is a very famous neighborhood that only gay people live there. Oh. So if you're telling, so imagine, ima okay, wow, imagine, ustedes no saben, no yes. sabían. So <laughs> you're telling me, hey, teacher, on the weekend, I'm going to go to San Francisco, and my friends are going to take me to visit Castro Street. Where? So I will ask you, are you culturally aware of uh -huh. Castro Street? Now, in this case, I am not asking your opinion about homosexuality. No, mm -hmm. I'm asking you if you're court culturally aware of what you will see. It does mean that estoy consciente de lo que voy a encontrar ahí. O de lo que voy Culturalmente a ver. hablando. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. That's how you use that expression. Are you culturally aware? It's with, for example, something that is not very common or is not. It's cultural, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, JJ, the reason why is Castro because in the 60s, in the 1960s, I think, there was a politician. He was very, very famous and he was gay. He was maybe the first open politician that was gay um, and um many people imagine in the i mean in the 60s he had a lot of um hate but he was a nice person and people loved him so in the complete united states the gay community they they supported him and they say wow thank you because imagine there was a big gay community like people in the closet 
You know, people mm -hmm. are afraid of saying, oh my God, I'm gay, my, my parents are going to kill me. So they read about this person and this person was saying the contrary, you know, yes, I'm gay, I'm happy, I'm a human, I'm this, I'm that. So many, many gay people identified with him and they decided to move there. Ayudarle. Hmm. And his office was in Castro Street. Así se llamaba la calle, Castro. Ah, okay. So more and more people started to move there. More gay people. In. So then, you know, for, you know, support, apoyo. Or people discovered, oh, okay, good. And so people heard, hey, there's a place in San Francisco for only gays. So, you know, many people identified and they started to move there. And that's how it was created, the community. Hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. At the beginning, when you said um, Castro Street, I thought that it was for the president of mm -hmm. Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Maybe, may, maybe there's a, there should be a story about why Castro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. De hecho, hay una película de este hombre se llama Milk. Really? Yes, that was his name, Milk. El apellido de Harvey Milk was his name. Sean Penn is the actor. It was a very good movie. Okay. You know Sean Penn? Yes. Yeah, he was the actor. He played this politician. Harvey Milk. Okay. If I recommend you, it's a very good movie. And that's that, that's so you understand um the that's for you to be cult culturally aware. Aware about. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Now, yeah, you're welcome. Now we have culturally sensitive. What do you think that means? <laughs> So, it's like about to be sensitive about. Yes, imagine. ¿Cuál es una religión generalmente extrema? Islam. ¿En Islam? Excuse me. Islam. 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 Yes, thank you, Islam. Islam. Islam is a is a very it's a very extreme religion. Imagine you are uh, Islam and you go to Castro Street. <laughs> wow. What do you think would happen? Do you think you would like it? No. No. Because in that sense, you are culturally sensitive. I love of that. Yes, maybe you will explode yourself. Oh no! Yes. This this is how I kill myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue. This would be because example, right? If you're Islam and you, no, if you're a Taliban or whatever, and you go to Castro Street, you are and you 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 will not like it because you are culturally sensitive so that means that you don't accept that when you put sensitive at the end when you put sensitive at the end is that you don't accept that movement teacher i think that the the next uh, champion world in Qatar, it uh, will be many difficult for many, many teams. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, Dubai is, is culturally sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that's a good example. You know that Dubai is culturally sensitive. They do not permit homosexualism they don't have open-minded they're not open-minded oh that's next okay 
But anyway, so you understand now culture sensitive, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that that means that you don't like that, you don't accept that for that type of culture. <clears throat> okay. Okay, next, non-conforming. Women. No, I'm joking. <gasps> Detail. No, I'm I'm dry. Okay, so you do under yeah. non-conforming. I'm very conforming woman. Okay, very that's good. <laughs> no, but who are like usually non-conforming people? You like the boss? Yes, or um, maybe politicians. somebody that uh -huh, politicians. Um, people, common people. Some sometimes says, uh, they are not conforming with her, her figure. Is correct? Or her yes. body? Or his mm -hmm. body? Yes. Some person who is a person who is never confirmed with anything is a non confirming person. Okay. Okay. Non judgmental. What is a non judgmental? A non judgmental person is a person that you can go to Castro Street and not have a problem. You say, oh, okay, it was interesting. I learned something new. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's a person that did not judge anything, just a non-judgmental person. Okay. okay. Next, open-hearted. <clears throat> That's you know, you have an open heart, like, oh, you're a, you have a good heart. A good person. A good person, yes. Open-minded. Open-minded. Oh, somebody that, the same thing that go to Castro Street and it's okay. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Nice, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. So do you want to be gay? No, but I like the experience. I learned something. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, that's being open mind. Mm -hmm. But I think that open minded is to respect to the other people, but exactly. not agree, but not agree. Exactly. You're mm -hmm. open minded and mm -hmm. respect, but you're not judgmental. Mm -hmm. It's okay if they want to live uh, um, on that way. Mm -hmm. It's like one time I was going to go to a, I was going to go to a satanic church one day. Um, somebody invited me and I, I was going to go. But only only be open mind, you know, like I, I want to see this. This is interesting. But at the end, they did not. They voted not to take me. <laughs> They what the chair, excuse me? They didn't invite me. They didn't accept me. Why? Because maybe maybe they knew that my intentions were not to be satanic. My mm -hmm. intention were to be like, hey, this is a new experience. <laughs> just by just by curiosity. Yeah, I was just going for curiosity. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe that maybe they, they saw that in me, so they said, No, I'm sorry. You're in, you know, that was, ah, quería ir. But do you stay for a long time there? No. Or just, they no. don't, they don't permit you to. No, I, I, I knew a person who was a satanic person. They, they were like from the church of Lucifer. Okay. And, um, but, but you know what, class, don't, don't get, I don't think it's like, oh. You know, like, oh, I'm going to kill a goat and drink the blood and, and sacrifice. Yes. No. <laughs> like the movies. Yeah. No, it's very, very interesting. The edge or when the class finish, you should read in, in YouTube or, or or like Los Diez Mandamientos Satanicos. They are very interesting. Really? No, really, really. It's 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 not it it's not what you imagine. It's not like Kill babies, <laughs> you know, things like that. No, it's something totally different. It's 
and that's why I was interested, you know, like, wow. Mm -hmm. Because I like to read a lot. So when you have, if, okay, don't get, no, no, no se vayan a confundir a lo que yo estoy diciendo, okay? Because some people, <laughs> some people are not open-minded in this. <laughs> the next class we will be with a crucifijo, como se dice? Yeah, tomorrow, like, <laughs> hey, why are you telling the people that you're satanic? Oh, God. Hmm. No, no, and, you know, and, um, it's como, por ejemplo, so this person was part of the, and this person is from a very, very rich family mm -hmm. in El Salvador. And this person was a student. The church, the satanic church is here in El Salvador. I, yes. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. But. No me dijo tanta information, you know. Yes. Maybe, maybe that's why he saw that I wanted too much information. So maybe he spoke with other people and they say, uh -huh. no, no, he's mm -hmm. not interested. He wants, he's just <laughs> yes. curiosity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but while I was, uh, if somebody invites me to, I, I've gone to every church. I have gone, I have seen baptisms of the Tesio de Jehová. Mm -hmm. I have gone to Mormons, uh, every every church. Okay. So me falta ver un exorcismo. I would love to see mm -hmm. an exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I don't believe in that. That's why. Okay. okay. Do you know why um, exorcisms don't exist anymore? Why? Because um, ¿Cómo es que se llama esta enfermedad? Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia was not discovered until like the 1970s. So before in the 40s, 50s, or in the principio del siglo, you know, when somebody had an attack, it was, oh my God, it's the devil. Mm -hmm. You know, poor, poor people. What is he doing? Okay. Tenía un tío que era sacerdote. Siempre decía, please, please, porque decía que la hacía. So, so, so I always say, hey, call me, call me, please, please. I want to see an exorcism. <laughs> but never. Next, self-assured. It's like to be uh, seguro de sí mismo. Yes, it's like re reggaetoneros are very self-assured, right? <laughs> yeah, they say all oh, the women want me. I have all the money. I can pay anything I want and this and this and then blah, 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 blah. And maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. Self-motivated. Automotivado. Yes. What is self-reliant? Self-reliant. Do you understand what self-reliant is? Mm, it's like a somebody that told with other people uh, self self-assured. No. I don't necessarily nothing is Es como relacionarse con los demás con seguridad. O sea, no, sé. no, a self-reliant is like an autosuficient person. Oh, you know? okay. A self-reliant is like, yeah, you know, like, oh, I don't need to worry about my little brother. He's very self-reliant. Okay. So, you know, like, oh, me, because, like, for example, imagine your son or your daughter, they go to a new school. And you are worried because, oh my God, he he has no friends in the school and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, you know what? No, don't worry, man. Jose is a very self-reliant person. So he knows, he, he will know what to do. Okay. I, I consider myself a self-reliant person. Yes. Like, for example, um, one day, uh, my, you know, some places that you can't go in, 
like when you go visit somebody to El Seguro, mm -hmm. and they only give only one person can go in at mm -hmm. the visit. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember my brother, he was there like for five months. And when we went to visit him with, he was not my brother, my wife's brother. And only one person can go in at, at a time. Mm -hmm. And I tell my wife, here, here's the ticket, go in. And you, don't worry about me, I'll, I'll, I'll go in. Go more with only, you can only go with tick, one ticket. Just don't worry about it, I will go in. Oh. So, you know, I'm very self-reliant. I will use some source, but I will, siempre, I, I always went in. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's like a self reliant person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, self centered. Similar to self reliant. That is more like a I don't know how it's called narcissista, egocentric. No, actually, it's the contrary. Like a self-centered person is like, I am worried because my my son will go to a party and everybody in that party drinks alcohol and they do drugs. I am worried that my son will do that. And you say, no, my son is a very self-centered person. Or you believe that your son is a very self-centered person. So self-centered, pies en la tierra, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows what to do and what not to do. For him, yes. Mm -hmm. If he don't, if he don't, if he don't want to do, he's not going to do. Yes. Okay. He is his center. He is the center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's an example. Okay. Okay. Um, but like self-reliant is is that type of person, you know, like um, talking with with people that even though don't know them. Yes, it's like it's funny. It's like mothers, mm -hmm. Mo mothers. <laughs> I rem it, it's funny. Remember, I tell you that I am an interpreter, correct? So. In the morning, sometimes I am talking with a doctor and a mother and the son, and the son is maybe 17 or 18. Mm -hmm. And the doctor is date of birth and the mom always answers. November 5, 1999. Okay, and why are you here? Yes, my son, él está aquí porque mi hijo él siente dolor en la espalda. ¿En qué parte de la espalda? En la de va. But it's like the woman is the patient, not the son. Okay. And it's funny. It's <laughs> funny because I remember my mother did exactly the same thing. You did she then win 21 years. <laughs> yes, it's funny. How old are you? And you know, you sit in this 21. <laughs> <laughs> 21. <laughs> yeah, you know, do you have sexual relations? No, it's so, mom, you, you, como sabe, man? <laughs> you know, like, no, but, but chicayate, you know, it's funny. So, mothers don't let children be self reliant <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's funny. You know, todos los días lo digo eso, las mamás hablando también por los esposos, yeah. And and the and, and the husbands they do the same thing. I don't know. Uh ya le hicieron el examen. El, I don't know. Any uh, análisis de sangre? No sé. Permítame. Oye, ya me hicieron análisis de sangre. ¿Cuáles fueron los que me hicieron que? Oh yes. <laughs> That's why we we need women. <laughs> <laughs> yes. okay so um so we understand now culturally aware correct 
Yes. Yes. Culturally sensitive. Yes. Yes. I think I think everybody is culturally aware, but not a, you know everybody knows, but I think many people are culturally sensitive. Yes. For example, I will not go to a country, for example, like India or I don't know, Iraq or, or something where women, women are nothing. Syria. Syria, yes. Mm -hmm. Women are nothing. I, I, I will never visit that because I am culturally aware, and because I am culturally aware, I will not go visit. Okay. Hey, there's a party in. ¿Cómo se llama esa la la la, la colonia de San de Soyapango? Campanera. Oh. <laughs> Are you cult culturally aware about that zone? It's red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine I tell you, hey, hey I, let's go to a party in my house. It's like Campanera. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I, I'll call you. <laughs> oh, because you're culturally aware. Well, I don't know now. I don't know now, but. Like five, ten years ago, ooh, it was a I no -no. need domicily food. It was what? I need domicily food. What did you address? <laughs> La campanera. Oh, bye. Delivery. Delivery. Yeah, delivery. what is yeah, delivery? Yeah. Delivery, sorry. <laughs> I need delivery. What did you address? La campanera. Bye. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know how the service. You know. Talking about cultures, I would like, I would really, if I have money, if if I had money and they tell me, here, David, a ticket to anywhere in the world you want to go, I would like to go maybe to Tokyo or China mm -hmm. because um, I want to go to a, a country that I don't know anything different language, different gods, different religions, different faiths. I mean, everything is different. Imagine going out of the hotel. Where do I go? Because even the letters, like, so I just start walking in the street and get lost. That would be very nice. Yes. The problem is if I don't come back. <laughs> Me perdí no volvió. Mm. Okay. Okay, listen, get yourself lost. This is similar to what I'm telling you. A class, do you know, do you remember a group from El Salvador? Se llaman Fuga. Bronco, I'm sorry, Bronco. They were from the 80s. Bronco, there was a, how was this integrante? A member? A member that after uh, stay or play with Fiebre Amarilla, somebody that used, I think uh, it was a handicap. Yes, him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The singer of that band, he's a friend of mine, uh, and he was telling me that when Café Tacuba came, Café Tacuba, in Principio de los Noventas, the first time, Bronco opened for Café Tacuba. Mm -hmm. So this friend of mine, he went to the hotel and he told the singer of Café Tacuba, hey, what do you want to do? And the singer of Café Tacuba told him, let's take the bus. Mm -hmm. What? Imagine 19, <laughs> 1994. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take the bus. And they took the bus and they went, they ended up in La Tiendona. <laughs> and he and he was telling him that he likes to do that in every country. Really? You know? Yeah. He just like outside the hotel, he takes the bus and just goes. Because he says, hey, si me pierdo, there are taxis. Everywhere in the world, there are taxis. And all I have to say is, can you please take me to this hotel? So they went to La Tendona to play Loteria. Can you imagine that? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> but he told me, mira, me dice, yo era salvadoreño y yo estaba muriéndome de miedo. Y él estaba lo más tranquilo. Like, hey, this is cool. This is similar in Mexico. <laughs> Okay, listen, get yourself lost. Le dije esa historia por el título, get yourself lost. Travelers to a new city are often encouraged to take a bus tour. The thinking is that they can later return to the places that captivated them. But that's nonsense. What you see from the inside of a fast moving bus is sanitized and unreal utterly removed from the authentic sights, sounds, and smells outside. Do you understand this paragraph? Okay, I will continue. I don't know what's wrong with the class. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know if you're not listening. I only have two people that I can see is Miguel and Milton and Ire because you have videos and Irena is the only person talking. So it's very difficult to ask questions and no answers. Second paragraph, the best way to experience any destination is by foot without an itinerary, wondering where your spirit leads you. Even if the largest city, the savvy traveler plunges into every center of town and walks down the nearest street, experiencing the actual life of the people while looking into the grocery stores and courtyards. You eventually get to many of the sites that you're on, that you are on the bus routes, the museums, the monuments, city hall, but you will have witnessed so much more because you will have felt the contemporary life of the city you're visiting. But what if I get lost? People ask. No one ever gets permanently lost in a major city. Eventually, a trolley or a bus passes with the words Central Station, or it's in front, and you can easily return to the center of town. Besides, the most wonderful things can happen if you get lost, such as stopping at a sidewalk cafe, sitting down, relax, and then asking directions from locals at the next table. Hopefully your trip may enhance may be enhanced enhanced by this counter. Here are a few ways to make the most of your travels. Know before you go. Before you depart, spend time in a library or bookstores learning about man, this article is old because imagine it's telling you to go to a library. Yes. Now you can just Google it. Yeah history and culture of your destination so you will better understand the place you're visiting. Move around like a local, use local subways, trains and buses. You'll not only save money, you'll learn how people live there and you'll gain realistic perspective of the city. Check the bulletin boards. Bulletin board list <laughs> free lectures, concerts, workshops, and social gathering. Giving you a chance to join or meet the area's most dynamic residents. Take a walking tour. If you must book a guided tour, select the non-standard and expensive kinds of conducted on foot. So the next time you feel loaded by a sightseeing bus tour, Save your money and instead wander around your own. I promise you a time you'll remember foundly. So that's similar to what the Cafe Tacuba singer did. Yes. He just took the bus. 
in Antigua, Guatemala, uh, many tourists uh, did that or do that. Yes. I, I see here that also in, in San Salvador, like many, many people do that now. Yes, now, yes. At yeah. the Plaza Morazan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's, it's true. Um, it's like people say, like when people go to Cuba, you know, you take pictures in, in the beautiful parts of Cuba, you know, but like, I, I've been watching some videos on, on YouTube about Cuba, the life of Cuba, you know, but these are tourist backpackers. Yes. They are not tourists like money. There's a difference. Those backpackers, they have no money. Mm hmm and then they, you know, they just say, wow, this is the real Cuba. And you see ugly buildings. It's like, oh, my God. And then there's a beautiful part of Cuba. Donde van todos los buses esos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, class, then thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow then, okay? So tomorrow, okay. teacher. Whoever's in the class, thank you. If somebody... Bye. Bye.